These neat green patches of sprouting leafy vegetables growing in rows contrast the brown arid landscape of Mandera West sub-county in the northeastern part of Kenya. For the pastoral-oriented community, locally grown vegetables are a new phenomenon to the residents who consume animal products as their main food. The lack of variety in their diet has seen diminished nutrition both in children and adults. Climate change has resulted in unpredictable weather changes, and now families struggle to meet their basic needs. The semi-arid region is highly vulnerable to drought, but at the same time, erratic rainfall has increased in the area, leading to frequent floods. This has led to poor harvests, increased food insecurity, and spiraling poverty among these pastoralist communities. One of the major challenges when it comes to crop production in Mandera is water shortage. But for this group of women in Gagaba, water is not a challenge anymore. They dig on. Day after day, they increase the farmland and grow all types of crops all year round. For the last two years, this farm has provided an alternative source of livelihood to them and their families. Every harvest season has not only guaranteed them food on the table, but money in their pockets as well. This is made possible through an initiative by Adra Kenya, a non-governmental organization keen on expanding key resilience-focused interventions for a complete and sustainable food security cycle in Mandera West. Mandera usually receives below uh, below mean annual ra rainfall in uh, most of the rainy seasons and two, uh, the people don't have uh, the knowledge of uh, uh, growing uh, vegetables on a large scale level. So this farm pond harvests uh, runoff water, then uh, the runoff water is used for farming vegetables using uh, climate smart technology. Uh, through this technology, we have seen that uh, production of vegetables going year-round, as opposed to the previous years where production of vegetables was only limited to when the rains uh, were available. Robo Osman, the chairperson of the group, recalls how unbearable life was for women before the introduction of this technology. On any other day, like many other women in the region, she'd be at home restricted to house chores, but this farm has liberated her, she says. In the past, we were confined to the kitchen as housewives. As women, we didn't have wealth. We only depended on men. But this farm has made it possible for me to create wealth. I am rich. I need to even start three other farms. We used to ask men to give us money for everything. Now, they're the ones asking money from us. Several kilometers away, we meet Abdi, another beneficiary of the farm pond technology. Abdi is a member of the Gul Farm self-help group in Takaba. The farm has all kinds of fruit trees. Abdi says the group started in 2013, but experienced a lot of difficulties when they tried to farm due to water shortage. But after the construction of the farm pond and adoption of climate smart technology, they've seen a big difference. Adra has equipped us with knowledge. They have further dug a pond for us, supplied us with water tanks and drip irrigation. Our lives have changed. Every day we take to the market fruits like pawpaw, mangoes, watermelons, and even kales, onions, and tomatoes. So far, Adra has constructed seven farm ponds in Mandera West sub-county. Each pond, when filled up, holds about 250,000 liters of water, enough to irrigate the farms until the next rainy season. Most people, outside the groups that you assisted have come up with their farms. They have gone ahead to grow groups. They have done irrigation using the model farms that you established. And I believe this thing is going to live and 
be replicated even beyond Mandera West. Adra Kenya, with funding from Canadian Food Grains Bank, CFGB, and Adra Canada, has employed sustainable renewable energy through solarizing the water pumping process in these farm ponds, hence reducing the costs of operation. The increased water output ensures that these farmers have enough water for their crops all year round. Apart from giving us food, the best thing Adra gave us was knowledge on how to utilize our farms and grow food. Proceeds from these farms have enabled beneficiaries to truly diversify their income. Last season, we made over 50,000 Kenya shillings from the sale of beans and vegetables from this farm. We have also started another business of selling goats. We have 20 goats at the moment.